Okay, so here we have a question from an S1 paper, S1 January 2019, Statistics 1. This question is about normal distribution, and um, I'm going to start off with part A, separately from the others, so that we can see what we're doing. Okay, it says the weights of women boxers in a tournament are normally distributed with a mean 64 kilograms and a standard deviation 8 kilograms. Okay, so we know that the weight is normally distributed with a mean of 64 and a standard deviation of 8. So that means, yeah, that's how you write that. That's the variance, which is the square of the standard deviation. This is how we write it in the, in the standard way. Then it says, find the probability that a randomly chosen woman boxer in the tournament weighs less than 51 kilograms. Okay, so we're going to have something like this. Let me just draw the bell curve. Try and do it neatly. So you have something like this. This is the bell curve. Try to make it symmetrical. And the median and the mean and the mode all lie in the same place, right in the middle okay, of this distribution. Okay, this is like a uniform, not uniform, this is like symmetrical, okay, normal distribution. Okay, so the mean is 64, and the standard deviation is 8, okay. It says, find the probability that a randomly chosen woman box in this tournament weighs less than 51 kilograms. So, you want to find this area over here. This area represents the probability that the woman weighs less than 51 kilograms. Okay, so we got to standardize these results. Now, to standardize these results, we've got to find the Z value. Now, Z is a standardized result, is equal to the value that you have minus the mean over the standard deviation. It's got the symbol sigma. So, so the value that we have is 51 minus the mean, which is 64, over the standard deviation, which is 8. Okay, so 51 minus 64 divided by 8 will give us 51 minus 64 divided by 8 gives us minus 1.625. Minus 1.625. Okay, so that's the Z value. So this is minus 1.625. So what we've got to do is we've got to find what the area of this region here is. Now, unfortunately, okay, the tables that we use, which is this table over here, just the table that we use, we, can't, we don't have minus 1.625 only have positive values okay so we gotta look for the nearest well we gotta look for basically uh, the positive side okay and we're gonna look for 1.625 okay so if you find 1.625 1.63 basically 65 1.63 it's over here basically that's the closest we can find to it we don't have to do interpolation here you can give the closest one all right so if we do that if we go to the closest one, which we just did, and we see the value, oops, let's go back. Okay, we need this value here. Okay, so 1.63 gives us the value 0 0.9484. What does that mean? What does this part mean of the table? Well, this is the Z value, the standardized value. And this is the area under the bell curve to the left of this value. Okay, so what we have here is 0 0.9484 is the area in this region over here. That's what we have. Okay. But what we want, what we actually want, is the region on this side. This is what we want. Oops. This is actually what we want. We want the region on this side. Now, if you think about it, 
I mean that area, why do we want the area on this side? Because this area is the same as that area, symmetrical. Okay, so if I take the area that we got, which is all the way back to, to here, from one, which is the area of the whole thing, I'll be left with this area here. So the probability that the weight of the woman is less than uh, 51 kilograms is equal to the probability, okay, that Z is less than, or Z is greater than, I can say sorry, less than minus 1.625, okay, and the probability that Z is less than um, minus 1.625 is equal to the probability okay um, that Z is greater than 1.625 okay that's what we, we see from here and, and that's equal to 1 minus 0 0.9484 Four, which gives us our answer. So we have 1 minus 0 0.9484. Yep, yeah, which gives us our answer as 0 0.0516. 0 0.0516. And there we have the answer to part A.